Well, back here in Washington, the first criminal trial from the January 6th assault on the Capitol ended in a guilty verdict. It could be a bellwether for the hundreds of cases arising from last year's riot. Here's CBS's Scott McFarlane. Guy Rethid of Wiley, Texas, never made it into the Capitol on January 6th, but armed with a semi-automatic handgun and zip ties, he confronted police outside the building and waved the mob in, later boasting of his exploits. I don't care if Pelosi's head's hitting every step I drag her by her ankle, she's coming out. But he's now facing decades in prison after being convicted on all five counts, including bringing a gun to the Capitol, obstructing Congress's certification of the election, and interfering with police. The landmark verdict gives the Justice Department newfound leverage over the nearly 500 Capitol riot defendants still facing possible trials. By winning this case decisively, uh, it also increases the, the opportunity for the Department of Justice to gain cooperation from those defendants who are perhaps leaders of this riot. Reffitt's own son testified against him, saying he was so frightened of Reffitt's anti-government rants that he tipped off the FBI. After the attack, Reffitt threatened to kill his son and daughter if they turned him in. Still, their mother, Reffitt's wife, defended her husband today and said other January 6th defendants shouldn't be scared off. What would you tell the other people who are still to stand trial in these cases after watching a guilty verdict? Don't take a plea. Do not take a plea. They want us to take a plea. The reason that we have all guilty verdicts is they are making a point out of Guy. Meanwhile, there's a new high-profile defendant. Proud Boys leader Enrique Tario was arrested today and appeared in a Miami court, charged with conspiracy for his role directing and coordinating the mob. Court documents say Tario met with the now-indicted head of the Oath Keepers, Stuart Rhodes, in an underground parking garage in Washington, D.C., the day before the attack. Guy Reffitt's wife says they plan on appealing today's verdict, but in the meantime, sentencing is set for June and Reffitt faces up to 60 years in prison. Nora? Quite a decision. Scott McFarland, thank you.